Uh, hey guys, um, never made a YouTube video before, it's my first one. This is just for this guy named Rick, I don't know his last name, I forgot, but anyways, he's a linguist and he is trying to map the different dialects of America. So, um, I've lived in Charlotte, North Carolina for a long time, since I was three, and now I'm 20, so 17 years. And I guess now I'm going to read uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, just to give you guys an idea of my dialect. Um, once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She went for a walk in the forest. It was a lovely day. You never saw a bluebird sky. No showers likely. Pretty soon, she came upon a house. She knocked, and when no one answered, she walked right in. At the table in the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks was hungry. She took a few bites from the first bowl. Now there were fewer bites than there had been. This porridge is too hot, she exclaimed. So she tasted the porridge from the second bowl. This porridge is too cold, she said. So she tasted the, the last bowl of porridge. Ah, this porridge is just right, she said happily, and she ate it all up. She thoroughly enjoyed it. After this, she decided she was feeling a little tired. So she walked into the living room where she, she saw three chairs. Goldilocks sat in the first chair to rest her feet. This chair is too big, she exclaimed. So she sat in the second chair. This chair is too big, too, she whined. So she tried the last chair, which was smallest. Ah, oh, this chair is just right, she sighed. But just as she settled down into the chair to rest, it broke into pieces. Goldilocks was very tired by this time, so she went upstairs to the bedroom. She could hardly carry herself up the stairs. I think I'll just lie down, she said. There was a mirror in the room, but she didn't notice it. She lay down in the first bed, but it was too hard, and she lay in the second bed, but it was too soft, and she lay down in the third bed, and it was just right. Goldilocks fell asleep. As she was sleeping, the three bears came home. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, and they ate it all up, cried Baby Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, and they've broken it all to pieces, cried Baby Bear. This was quite a problem. They decided to look around some more, and when they got upstairs to the bedroom, Papa Bear growled, Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, too, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and she's still there, exclaimed Baby Bear. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She came unglued. She was afraid she was face to face with her destroyers. She nearly passed out. She screamed, help! She jumped up and ran out of the room. Goldilocks ran down the stairs, opened the door, and ran away into the forest. And after this, she never returned to the home of the three bears. But she wasn't even sorry for what she had done. She had had a pretty bad time. The end. I'm also going to read a couple more sentences just to uh, expand upon that ex uh, exhibition of my dialect, I guess, if you will. Um, I guess that wasn't enough for Rick. He wanted more, and there are certain words in the English language that sound alike, depending on where you come from. So this should give you a better idea of, you know, what my dialect is and what words sound alike and so on. Okay, so here we go. Um, the first one is, I like to watch reruns. Captain Hook is a pirate. The poor man went on a tour that turned into a joyride. We must prorate our costs. Steam was billowing out of the train. That town is situated down the valley. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Put that man on the payroll. And I think that is it. Yeah, that's about it for me reading and showing you guys how I talk. Um, once again, that's how people talk in Charlotte, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure they all sound like me for the most part. Uh, so hopefully I sound just like them too. And we'll see what Rick says. So go look at his map and see where you guys live and see if you sound like them and you know learn about the different dialects of America it's pretty interesting stuff so and while you're at it if there's not a um, recording from somebody in your area already posted you can help Rick out and put one on there for him so um, hope you enjoyed this